It's a very low insulin response, even in an insulin resistant patient. And what you'll see is by the third day, it's actually the day after they break their fast. Uh, so they've done the 72 hours, they've kept track of their glucose and their ketones and glucose goes down and ketones go up. And which you know, is a good gauge that you're getting this autophagy. Yeah, and it's a stress. It's you know you're asking for a workout of those mitochondria, right? And as you flip it, as you as they really get to a point where they've not seen ketones like that in ages, and their glucose finally, in many cases, finally gets below ninety. They mm -hmm. finally get into what I think of as much healthier. Uh, and then the next day, it's even better. Like, mm. doc, I'm back to eating normal. I'm like. What you're really reaping the benefits of is when ketones are in circulation, they stimulate the liver to make more ketones. I mean, ketones beget ketones. So the wave lasts after the 72 hours. Like the best numbers usually come the day after the 72 hours because the body is truly flexible.